Did you know that COVID-19 drove an additional 97 million people to poverty? Extreme poverty, to be exact. Yes, and that brings the total number of people living in extreme poverty to 698 million, which translates to about 9% of the global population. But on a more positive note, more than 1.2 billion people have risen out of extreme poverty since 1990. And what does that mean? Well, it's possible for anyone, including yourself, to come out of poverty, even if it has persisted across generations. Cutting to the chase, in this video, you'll learn 10 things you must do to escape poverty. Stay tuned. Welcome to Insight Booth, your home of insights that inspire forever. So what should you do to jump out of poverty? Let's dive in. 1. Educate yourself. This one comes first because it's the most important, and for a pretty straightforward reason, I must add. See, the less educated you are, especially in financial matters, the more susceptible you are to being taken advantage of and sabotaging your financial journey. And no, financial education is not about learning some complex accounting concepts. Instead, it's about acquiring basic financial literacy, learning how credit works and how to build it responsibly, understanding your options regarding financial products and institutions, such as banks and lenders, knowing your rights concerning banking and financial products. To be a little more specific, for basic financial literacy, you could check out financial blogs, YouTube channels, websites, and online courses. Regarding credit, you want to learn about, among other things, annual percentage rates, as that allows you to know what interest you'll be charged if you miss a payment. Remember, effective debt management makes a huge difference when it comes to building wealth and beating poverty. Not to forget, you need to learn about your rights to ensure that financial institutions, such as banks, lenders, and even your employer, do not exploit you and undermine your financial progress. Now, of course, financial knowledge extends beyond this, but you better start somewhere, because even little financial knowledge could take you far. 2. Focus on what you can control. I totally understand. Living through poverty is overwhelming. Even so, you shouldn't let poverty take over your life to the point it's the only thing you think about. Instead, take charge of your life and start focusing on the things you can control. For example, you have total control over what you decide to think about money. So if you find yourself with negative thoughts such as, I can never get out of poverty, you want to become more positive and say things like, I am capable of making money, or I deserve abundance. That's right, when you're learning to escape poverty, you must only focus on the controllable things in your life. This way, you'll start feeling more sure of yourself and your abilities, which allows you to take the baby steps that will eventually see you bid goodbye to poverty for good. 3. Stop being entitled. Okay, so you have graduated college and earned your degree. Perhaps it's even a master's or a PhD. You get the idea. Does your academic record entitle you to a better paying job? Well, sorry to break it to you, but not quite so. At least, not in the modern world. You're always walking around feeling entitled because of your academic success, your family name, the people you know, and so on. You just might never come out of poverty. See, the thing with today's world is this. Financial success no longer comes to those who think they deserve it, but those who have proven that they actually deserve it. Just think, if you search how to be successful on YouTube and the suggestions pop up, would you choose the video with 400 views or the one with 4 million views? You'll definitely go for the one with 4 million views because you feel it has proven its worth. Yes, and the interesting thing is that the one with 400 views might actually be better. So the moral of the story, stop being entitled. Rather, go out there and actually prove your worth by doing something. Heck, you can offer services for free, take a lower paying job, volunteer, and do any other thing you feel is beneath you. The idea is to get your name out there until no one can look past you when they need a certain service or product. That's the way to jumpstart your journey out of poverty. 4. Stop comparing yourself to others. If you want to escape poverty, it's high time you stop keeping up with the Joneses. That's right, stop comparing yourself to your neighbors, friends, and even your favorite social media personality. So what if your friend from college now drives a super fancy sports car and you drive a Prius? Will they like you better if you drive a fancier car? If so, they aren't true friends. Just focus on bettering yourself in all aspects of life, including financially. Don't spend too much money on brand name items like your friends if you can't afford them in the first place. Generic items will do just fine. Move at your own pace because you are the only one who understands your financial situation best. You'd be surprised, but your friends might actually be torturing themselves to live that high-end life they post on socials. 5. Know where you stand and formulate a plan. This should have come earlier, but now it is still okay. So the very first step to beating poverty is understanding where you currently stand. This means being honest with yourself when assessing your bank accounts, liabilities, and assets. Once you have an excellent idea of how you stack up, formulate a financial plan. This could entail creating a budget to help you track your cash inflow and outflow to see where you should make changes. Are you spending more than you make? Is it too hard to pay all your bills each month? 
categorize your spending, figure out where you should cut back, and take it one step at a time. Now, giving yourself a grace period is important because things won't just fall into place. You'll make mistakes, and that's okay. The idea is to keep learning and evolving so you can eventually stop living paycheck to paycheck and start saving money. Six, start a side hustle. If you've been holding a job and are still living paycheck to paycheck, don't you think starting a side hustle would be a smart move? That's it. Side hustle is an excellent way to supplement your income and improve your overall financial situation. And it really doesn't take much. Thanks to the internet, you can start literally any side hustle and work from home. You can start freelance writing, open an e-commerce store, or offer your consultations online. But it's not just the internet. In the real world, some of the hustles you could get into include driving for ride-hailing apps, pet watching, and pet walking, among others. 7. Spend wisely and minimize your expenses. The truth is you won't be getting out of poverty if you're always spending like an Arabian prince. You need to take charge of your money usage so you don't bleed out money that you could have saved and, better yet, invested. Again, a budget would be useful here, so you want to create one. And you really have no excuse because there are apps you could download on your smartphone or PC that help you keep your finances in check. Speaking of which, some excellent examples include Mint and Pocket Guard. To minimize expenses, consider reducing unnecessary subscriptions and going generic instead of buying brand names. And to avoid impulse buying, which studies suggest gobbles up $314 monthly, you need to create a shopping list before going shopping and stick to it. Alternatively, you could get an accountability partner to help you avoid going overhead with your purchases. Yes, no matter how you think about it, knowing where and when to stop is the key to ending poverty. 8. Walk away if necessary. The last thing you want is to lose money, no matter the amount, if you plan on being rich. Warren Buffett famously said, Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. The word is that the Oracle of Omaha lives by this rule, which is essentially about not setting yourself up to lose money as an investor. That means many things, including walking away from a business or investment that does not seem to add up for you. After all, you have many options before you, so only go ahead with something if you are sure of the value it provides to you. Is that bank or lender offering predatory terms? Well, you know what to do. 9. Save as much as you can and invest. It's easy to rule out saving if you're poor, but if you want to kick poverty to the curb, you need to save, no matter how tough things get. In fact, you need to deduct money for your savings as soon as you get any income and then use the rest for your expenses and bills. This way, you can grow your savings and get into a position to invest. Speaking of investing, you want to put your money into something you understand. Refrain from throwing your savings into the latest investment fad in the hopes of getting a lucky break. True, lasting wealth is built over time, so it's better to start small but sure and work your way to the top. And lest I forget, how much should you save to start investing? I suggest that you set aside an emergency fund with three to six months of your expenses first. After that, you can start investing any other money you come across after deducting your bills. 10. Take calculated risks. You only go so far if you are afraid of taking risks. That's right, staying in your comfort zone and doing what you're familiar with will keep you in your familiar situation, poverty. You need to take calculated risks and invest in various things, including stocks and businesses. Speaking of businesses, you will never know if your idea is viable if you don't take that leap of faith. So what are you waiting for? What other tips for jumping out of poverty do you have? Let me know in the comments section below. Give the video a like and share it widely while at it. And remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to get more inspiring content like this. You've been great. Bye.